Hey there, Cole Slaney here from Ribby Motors and Salmon Arm. Just wanted to show off this Dodge Durango RT, uh, the Hemi model in here. Typically, I like to go around the vehicle, show off all the features, um, go into the interior and show off all the features as well. So let's get started here with the wheels. We have the obviously factory wheels on here with the Dodge logoing on there. The Bridgestone tires are on here as well. Um, they look to be an M plus S, but do not have a snowflake on there. So good for in town, but not on the Coca Hala or any of the passes by any means. We got the eyebrow lights there, fog lights, and obviously the sensors that you can see across the front here. A nice sporty looking hood. There we are again. Lights behind the mirror. Lock button, unlock there. Open this door. Three across the middle here. Plug-ins, heated seats. Seats fold down like such. You can pull them out. Easy access into the back for another two seats back there. Hidden hitch under here, you can pull that piece off and there's a hitch there for you. It is the RT as you can see. The light across the back is super fancy as well. It does have a little cover on here. If you fold the seats down as well, you can apply this up into that little cutout there as you can see by my finger. These seats do fold forward here. I'd have to have both hands free, unfortunately, there for me to show you, but it does fold forward, creates a flat space here. Let's see if I can try one more time. There we go, I actually got it. There we are. So that's what it looks like flat there for you. Button is here to shut this down. Hopping into the front seat. Leather suede leather it does have memory seats here turn this air down see look at that a whole 18 kilometers to its name auto lights of course um, cruise control settings this little sector here is to control your whole screen as you can see I can switch it change it to miles per hour I'm going to go over to digital. That's what I like personally more. Um, you're going to open your tailgate from back here. Um, you, get, you have your universal garage door openers. This is the new 10.1 inch screen with the Uconnect 5 operations on here. That means you can have multiple devices connected at once. There's um, different profiles for different drivers. So everybody gets their own presets. They don't have to get uh, messed with. Um, wireless um, CarPlay as well. Also, we have the media option, comfort option, navigation. I'm going to go back to comfort here and go over. That has heated seat, heated wheel, and heated seat. Our navigation is nice. There's a pinch in to zoom and zoom out. Phone option there, so you can connect your phone, uh, be able to take phone calls um, through your vehicle, answer text messages via your voice commands vehicle options here as well um, you can pop the third row headrest down just by touching that button so you have a better range of view you also have a rear view camera of course uh, there's a performance pages here we're going to launch them just to show you what they're all about so your timers on here which i mean it's a little interesting to have that in a normal SUV, but this is the main point of it, in my opinion, is you get your gauges. So if you're on long road trips, if you're in the middle of doing um, some hot day or cold day traveling, you can keep an eye on all of your information there as far as that goes for yourself. It also has your dyno slash engine um, information, the G-force that we're pulling, the pitch and roll that we're on, and then the vehicle dynamics. So letting it know what's going on in the all-wheel drive or all-wheel drive low option. We'll go back to the media or the home screen, sorry. Down here is just your climate control as well as your heated seats and heated wheel option. Uh, also sport mode, eco mode, traction control and sensors. You got plug-ins, wireless charging pad. This is your key, remote start, 
tailgate open, lock and unlock. Your shifter here, all wheel drive low, so if you're in a snowy condition or in a sticky spot, you chuck that in there and it'll keep it locked in gear and be able to get you out no problem. Top part of the console, bottom part of the console. This is the view through the back. As you can see, the headrests have been folded there. Something's in there, I can't get it open, unfortunately. I don't want to break it. I'll check that out after, but something's caught up in there. A little plug in there. But that is the Dodge Durango. Hopefully you enjoyed. Thanks again for watching and bye now.